Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 104, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And we, uh, we just escaped the Sith Academy. We fought Darth Sion, who regenerated his health. Kriya told us that uh, our most strategic maneuver is the Brave Sir Robin. So we bravely ran away away. And now we're going to go finish off that ominous cave uh, that we passed on the way to the academy. And I do have some interesting trivia to, to relate as we go through that. Uh, it is worth reminding everybody again, because I, I said this in the academy. I said I'm going to repeat this one or two more times before we're done with Korriban. In Knights of the Old Republic 2, one of the one of the interesting consequences of making your choices is the way Korriban affects you. If you are a light-sided character, you get a massive negative to your saves. If you are a dark-sided character, you get a massive bonus to all your saves. So Darth Sion and the Muppets over there had a plus 60, I think it was. Um, I don't have the, I, I read the numbers. I even read it before I went live so I could repeat the numbers and it escaped me and I don't have it right next to me. But it, it is a massive bonus to their saves, which is why my force push did nothing. This is why... I, I didn't intend it for this specific purpose, but this is why having a lot of things like heal and speed and valor and, and the, uh, the the battle meditation, uh, having all these powers for buffing and healing myself help because it doesn't matter what bonus their saves there are if you're making one extra swing with the lightsaber because you got master speed. Um, and I almost forgot. Okay. Oh. I, I was expecting something different there. Okay. So, we, it was beeping at me like there was another quest update. So we got the, uh, we encountered the remains of Master Vash. And it looks like she was held there as bait. We still got the hidden power coming from a cave. That's where we're headed to next. And I think we're going to get to the, the rest of Master of the Palace um, later today. I hope so. I hope so. And I hope that once that is done, we'll at least have the first half of the new trade routes squared away. Because um, then... Because, yeah, it's supposed to be establishing trade on Onderon and Dantuin. And Dantuin is where we're going after we finish a couple of things after here. So, it's on the agenda. The other thing that I do need to reconsider is who do I want in my party for this one? Um, oh. Uh, I like him. But nothing that I'm about to do requires skills. I need somebody with combat prowess. So I'm going to add Mandalore, remove Bowder, and I'm going to remove HK. Because uh, as much as I love having him around, it is really nice to have him around. Um, droids aren't affected by heal. <laughs> and some of the other powers I'm going to be throwing about so, you know, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to grab Atten because he is still mostly set up for ranged assist. I might want to bring in Mira too, because she also does ranged. Um, and it would be nice to have one or the other, although Atten is a little bit behind on his leveling and I probably ought to do something about that too eventually. So let me bring him in as well, and we'll go OK. And there he is to level up. So let's level him up before we wander into the Cave of Death. Uh, level up. Unarmed Specialist 3. 
Nice. Skills. Okay, good. I was trying to remember if somebody else had stealth. Uh, treat injury, demolitions. Yeah, those are the only ones I'm going to be able to keep up. Alright, powers. Ooh, what do I want to give him? Uh, remember, with Atten, I'm kind of running him very similar to the way I ran my character in Knights of the Old Republic 1, where I forewent the powers that, um, that are restricted by armor, so that way I could keep him in the best armor I could. And in that case, uh, I guess I'll get him the Master Heal. That's never a bad thing to have around. And accept, and we'll level them up again. We'll do the skills, the demolitions, the stealth, and the treat. Actually, you know what? I'm going to fall back on the demolitions and try to get one more into stealth. Because if I remember right, I'm going to need that for this one. And he gets another power. Let's finish off his uh, stun line. Okay. Okay. Level him up. His, ooh, now here's the fun. Where do I put that? Where do I start putting attribute points? Uh, I wouldn't mind getting his constitution up to 18 because that's what you need for the high level implants. Although I don't use Atten as much as I probably could. So that might not be the best use of uh, time or effort. Strength would be good because I will eventually be giving him a lightsaber. And strength will help with damage. Although, I think the next chance I get for a feat, I might want to give him finesse. Lightsaber finesse if he doesn't already have it. Because he is definitely higher on the decks than strength. And having a plus three to hit is better than a plus one. And I might want to keep ratcheting up the dexterity a little bit more. Uh, if I tie his attacks, all his attacks to that. Also, I really ought to bump up his wisdom because now that he is a Jedi and he is using powers, his stun and stun droid are based off of his wisdom and charisma. And how many force points he has is based off of his wisdom and charisma. His charisma isn't really going to help anything else. I mean, it, it does help him. He can use dark side powers at a reduced cost, but I'm not going to give him any dark side powers. Uh, and... and it will also improve companion's chance to hit, but that, that's really... Wisdom will help his will save, which is not the best. And I'd much rather help his will save and his powers than help him kind of sort of give everybody else another slight bonus to hit and his powers. So let's do that. Let's bump the wisdom up with the next two ability points, and then we'll go back to dexterity. Get that up to 18, and then figure out what's left from there if we got room. So, wisdom. Okay, skills. Uh, I'm going to bump that up to 17. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll yeah, we'll keep that like that. Feats. Ooh, Force Immunity Paralysis. So he is immune to paralysis, which is good. He's got the Master 2 weapon fighting. He can do heavy armor, which is good, since I plan on keeping him armored. Um, he's as far as he's going to go on the Blaster Pistol focus. I do not plan on giving him Blaster Rifles, because his main thing is 2 weapon fighting. And you can't two-weapon fight with rifles. You can't, you know, pull, pull a, a, a Schwarzenegger movie type uh, roll and start tucking a blaster rifle under each arm. Uh, although it'd be kind of nice if your strength was high enough and you could do that. That, that would actually be kind of cool. Uh, LucasArts, if you're listening, make that happen somewhere. we got to have somebody dual-wheel blaster rifles because they can. I mean, it's not like they have the weight and recoil that machine guns do so arguably it could be cooler and easier to pull off uh, i'm not going to invest in jedi defense i might want to give him toughness at some point but uh where is there we go finesse lightsaber i need to get him that because he is dex based and i might i might end up having to start down the precise shot once i uh, once I've cleared some of the other feats off the list. 
Yeah, I might, I might have to start looking into the precise shot again. Okay. Powers. He's got the resilience lightsaber form, which is good. Uh, I've, oh, why does he have a dominate mind? Oh, that's right. He learned it from me. I learned it from you. All right. What can I give him that's not restricted by armor, though? Like, Force Aura is restricted by armor. Burst to Speed is restricted by armor. Force Valor is restricted by armor. Force Resistance is restricted by armor. Energy Resistance is not. Okay, so that's a candidate. Uh, force Barrier, surprisingly enough, is not. Battle Meditation is... Force Body is useless. Revitalize is restricted by armor for some reason. That, that's kind of odd. Okay. Uh, force Deflection is not. However... Um, this really isn't that useful. That, that's not worth using a, uh, a Force Power. Although, it is nice to know that the, the power is always in effect. Um, wound is a dark side power, slow is a dark side power, fear is a dark side power, shock, I am shocked to report, is a dark side power and restricted by armor. Uh, drain life is restricted by armor and a dark side power. Force suppression is universal, but is restricted by armor. Plus, we haven't really been running into enough people that use powers to make that a worthwhile investment. Throw Lightsaber is an option. So we got the two two resistances. Uh, throw Lightsaber. Drain Force. No. Scream. No. Mind Trick. No, that's that's not... No. No. Um, I'm actually going to go with... No, Battle Meditation was restricted. So it's going to be either the Force Barrier or the Energy Resistance. Force Barrier uh, absorbs points from Slashing, Bludgeoning, Piercing. Does that... Uh, slashing, Bludgeoning, Piercing... Slashing, Bludgeoning, Piercing. Okay. Since he is usually in the back and if people are slashing at him, things have gone seriously awry, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Energy Resistance... And start, uh, so he can start soaking up the, uh, the, the energy blaster bolts and that kind of stuff. Alright, except, oh, we do have a couple more levels with him too. Good. Skills, demolition, stealth, and treat injury. Beats. Ooh, that is a good question. I'm tempted to go with the, you know, flurry or flurry of blows or flurry of shots or, you know, one of those. But I, I don't, I don't know if that's going to help him because I noticed that the, the, unless you manually take control of everybody and queue up everybody's everything. And sometimes even then they don't follow the queue you set up. Uh, might, might be a bug in the system. Uh, they don't use those. I'm probably not going to invest in that. Uh, caution's nice, because that helps his demolition and stealth, which, you know, are skills that he has. Empathy, no, gearhead, nah. Conditioning is an op- alright, so conditioning's an option, toughness is an option. Dueling's always an option, but I never seem to make use of it. Finesse, no, because I'm about to give him a saber and call that good enough. Uh... Ooh. Regen is a very good option. And then, of course, Precise Shot. I think I'm going to go ahead with a Precise Shot, because even though he is a Jedi, and I am going to give him a lightsaber, um, <laughs> gi giving, him, uh, giving him increased damage on his blaster pistols, because that's going to be his primary, seems like a really good idea. It's automatically applied, so he automatically gets a plus one to damage and a minus two to any attempt to deflect it. I th yeah, I think that's going to be his feats for the next little while. Ooh, you got Force Channel. Uh, 
Oh, and this means I should probably talk to him when I next get the opportunity. Uh, because he might be able to learn some new powers from me now that he's a higher level. Uh, let's go ahead and increase that energy resistance then. We'll top that off and then we'll look at the barrier. Or throw a lightsaber. Alright, there he is. He is... Yep, okay. So he's about as leveled up. She's about as leveled up. Oh, which reminds me, she currently has two lightsabers. Uh, I, I don't have the time right now, but eventually I'll get around to setting her up with a double-bladed lightsaber. And I should probably do the same, because I have two double-bladed double, double -bladed lightsabers, so that's 7 to 24... Ooh. Uh, maybe I won't yet. Not until I bump up the, the double-bladed saber. Because 2 to 24 versus the uh, 7 to 24. But that's been upgraded a little bit too. So I'll keep him with the, the sword then for the next little bit. All right, let's save that. <laughs> Here I am. I spent most of the level just uh, leveling at him. Or most of the episode of leveling in. Yikes. Alright, so we got our new crew into the caves. Dun, 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 dun. I am going to go through and explore the entirety of the caves, even though it is technically unnecessary, but because that is how you find loot. A half-eaten corpse. Hmm. An energy baton and a data pad. The data pad appears to belong to a Sith trainer. I have released several of my best trained Tuatra into the caves to finally eradicate the Shirek infestation. So far, so good. My only concern is for the eagerness of the beasts have for the hunt. I must apply extra punishment that ignore their masters before they revert back to their predatory nature. I think I know how this is going to go. Not well. Not well at all. And by the way, if you played the first Knights of the Old Republic, you'll know exactly how this cave goes because it's the same cave. All right, let me keep the powers to a minimum for the moment just to see if uh, how that's going to work out. Come on, get in there. Flurry the snot out of these guys. We get into battle, good sir. Stop just standing there. Do something. Time to even the odds. More where that came from. Alright. Can can I loot them for Shirak stakes or something? What's in the Sith Corpse? Uh 147 credits and third Is there really a difference between the credits or is it just I don't know. Why, why couldn't they have just said that he had 177 credits? Either way, I'll take his money. What about this guy? Oh, a crippling scope, Mark III. And 29 components? Yes, please. And what's in the ceramic jar? A dueling shield? Good. I keep forgetting about the shields, and I probably should not do that. All right. Uh, how do I want to do this? There's no really good efficient route that covers everything. All right, let me just double check. We got the jar, the body, my crew, and the body. All right. The bodies have hit the floor. Now, moving on. Yeah. Ominous music is ominous. We gonna let these guys battle it out a little bit? Nope. All right. Where that came from? Oh, and the handmaid's re ready to level up. Good. Oh, everybody's ready to level up. Well then, uh, let me explore a little bit more of the cave, and then I'll probably spend an episode uh, just leveling everybody up. Although, it shouldn't take that long. 
Oh, never mind. The evil puppy's uh, coming to me. Hi, buddy. There we go. You sure? You sure I can't get any steaks off him? Like, he looks like he should have some like ribs or something. Ah, that's uh empty. How sad. Let's just finish running around here. Make sure there's no uh, hidden thing worth retrieving. All right, that takes us back. All right. Looks like the only way is forward. I'll try at least... There's three main cave paths in here. So there's this one that we're going through now. There's two more that branch off of the southern branch that we missed. And there's a path connecting the top and the middle that we haven't reached yet. Um, I'd like to... Oh, a path. That one right there. Full of critters. But first... Let's loot something. <laughs> Ooh, some Zabrik battle armor and a life support pack. All right. I'll have to do that when I can get a chance to uh, run everybody through their armor options again. Hopefully, hopefully in between streams, let's go around. All right, let's uh, do that. You know what? On the off chance, let's go ahead and throw a Valor in there just because... I'm not at the point where that's going to hurt too much. I see something wavering in the background, and that does not look good. That looks rather ominous over there. Alright, uh, let's do this then. We've explored all the way up here. We'll take... That's a lot of critters. And I know there's something that triggers when you hit the bridge. So, let me backtrack. Let's get the other couple of paths taken care of first. And then... We'll head out that way. Oh, I'm gonna run past everything. Because of course I am. Yeah. That's it. Keep sending those bolts down range. Alright, everybody's still good? Good. Alright, hang on. There was a cave. There a cave. <laughs> We're in a cave. There was a jar. With some components. Okay. Components are always nice. Because, uh, again, one of the things that I do want to do between streams is uh, the last time I spent a lot of time focusing on the armor enhancement. So I made sure everybody was outfitted with the best armor that they could wear and that it had the best inserts and overlays that I was had the crafting skill to craft. Well, we've leveled up a little bit since then. So I might be able to get better versions of the crafting inlays that they have. Some In some cases, I won't because there's only three tiers and they have the third tier. Uh, but I would like to do that this time for the weapons, because it's been a while since I've gone through everybody's weapons and not just given them the best base blaster, but made sure that it had the best scope, the best grip, the best whatever accessories it can be improved with. And that takes hours. So hopefully I'll be able to leave this at the end of the stream in a place where it makes sense to be able to do that. Because it's been a while, and I definitely, definitely want to do that. In the meantime, I got some more, uh, some more, some more bonus stuff. And if nothing else, some of those will get, uh, some of those will get broken down for parts. Oh, the container's empty. The body's empty. Uh, what else is there to loot in here? There's a jar down the other end. Can we get to the jar without him coming by to say hello? Come on. You're standing right there. Ooh, sonic grenades. Um, and a construction kit. Because, yeah, that could be useful. Alright. It's just one. Oh, he saved. Not for long. I'm trying to tell. Do I have a yellow lightsaber or an orange lightsaber? 
I'll have to fix that either way. Alright. Uh, that way leads to the cave again. Into the bridge that I'm not sure at what point I trigger. So let's head back. Clear out the rest of this middle cave. And then I might take a short break. Yeah. And then on the next go round, I'll finish off the third leg of the cave. And we'll go from there. No. Nothing to loot. Nothing to loot. Aw. Alright. And we got some credits, which are always useful. We got some new blasters and an clarity. And we've got a corpse that has, hello beach duck, a thermal detonator. Alright, I'm not going to say the same tired old joke about threatening huts with a thermal detonator. I just want you to know that I really did think of it again. Alright, so there's nothing left on the body. It looks like those are the only two jars that were intact and able to be looted. But at least there's that. Let's, uh, let's finish up this leg and then I will take a short breather. Um... Where does that... Go? Oh, okay. That's the that's the third leg of the path. So this... This should meet back up. Yeah, and that should be an empty cave and empty corpses. So we're going to head back down this way. We'll head down this leg here. So let me pull up the map. So we're going to head down the cave entrance that I'm my character is pointing to right now. That's going to loop down and around because um, what you see, that, that pointy corner in the top right of the map, that is a path all the way down the other side. Uh, and all cave entrances basically lead there. So I'll head down the third path, back up, and fill in that in because... Uh, there's going to be an event that triggers when I try to cross the bridge. I just can't remember if it's when you're crossing the bridge or when you get close to the bridge. So I want to make sure that we're ready for that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and... S oh, wait, no. We're, we're going we're gonna to save in a minute because at the top of the next episode, I'm going to level everybody in this party because that... Yeah, we definitely want to level everybody. But uh, I'm going to take a short break. So if you're on the live stream, hang tight. If you're on YouTube, you'll see what happens next in the next episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.